Well, let's talk about National Science and Maths Quiz. Well, St. Rose's Senior High School for two years running will be missing out of the National Science and Maths Quiz after they were beating in a nerve-wracking contest. The girls could not keep their first round momentum, losing the contest to Asamankese Senior High School, which dominated the remaining round to win the competition and secured for themselves a ticket to Accra for the national championship. Giant Slayers, Hack Mount Sinai, uh, SHS Element, el eliminated St. Rose's Senior High School at the same stage last year to make their first ever appearance at the nationals. As a Mankese Senior High School ended the contest with 50 points, nine points ahead of their closest contenders, St. Rose's Senior High School. Maxwell Kudeko has a wrap of day two of the Eastern Regional Qualifiers. <laughs> They appeared very prepared mentally and in high spirit with higher hope to emerge as dragon slayers. In the first round, St. Rose's and Asamanka the Senior High School had the same score, but the latter exhibited their masculine prowess and dominated in the second, third, and fourth rounds, merging victorious. An optical device. I have a shiny surface of which light reflects. Yes, St. Rose's. No. That's incorrect. The slayers of the dragon admitted having fears after balloting, but overcame the fear through hard work and perseverance. Here is the lead contestant from Asamankese Senior High School. For the first time, when we balloted and we saw that we met St. Rose's, there was some kind of fear because we knew um, for some time now St. Rose's have not been able to qualify for the nationals or the uh, science and math quiz. So we knew they were coming fierce at this time. But we got a courage from our teachers and others, and we saw that they were a cool job for us, that we could um, calm them down in just some seconds. And by God's grace, everything was cool. For this year, we have um, a different game plan. So for this year, I think we are going to the finals. We are going to the finals, straight into the finals. Meanwhile, the Dragon, which have missed out at the national contest for almost four years, believe they did their best. And Kuma Porsche Adwa Sewa and Adu Lillian Ansa are contestants from the St. Rose Senior High School. Oh yes, we came with an expectation too. And yes, we have got one points. And some schools won with 22 points. So yes, we expected to win. We lost with 41 points. And they won with 50 points. So yes, we are good. We could have won, yes. Are you disappointed? Yes, I am. I am so disappointed. But not in my girls, because seriously speaking, my teammates are very good. Oh, actually, nothing went wrong, but let's say our speed, yes. Some of the bonuses, the speed race, sometimes you have the answer, then maybe the speed with which we ring the bells is not very good, so it's our speed. So next time we work on our speed also. Tina Akosuya Japan is a science tutor at St. Rose's. She has a message for all students and stakeholders of the St. Rose's Senior High School. Dear all students, old girls, I would um, suggest that they turn to their schools, especially those who ever went through this kind of quizzes, that they have to come back and then help in the training. In the sixth contest, Adonte Senior High School eliminated World Robotic Winners, Manfred Methodist Girls Senior High School, St. Michael Senior High School, Don Kokrum Avrik Senior High School, and St. Francis Senior High School. Max Rokodako report from Odumase Krobo. So let me take you through some of the results that we have so far. Waliwali Senior High School and Damango Senior High School become first schools to represent Northeast and Savannah regions at the Nationals, Northern School of Business and Anbayura Senior High School, uh, two of five slots available to the Northern region as well. Here are results of the contest that took place uh, in the Eastern region.